she ditched us in Jersey, maybe she didn't come home. Abby's late to Pyramid because she doesn't want to face the moms. Last time she saw us, she ditched us and our kids, and we're going to hold her accountable for that. Who thinks Miss Abby is going to apologize for leaving us stranded? Oh, God, no. She never apologizes. Honestly, I think there's only one reason why Abby left the competition in New Jersey, and that's because Maddie forgot her dance, and it's totally unreasonable. I want to go again. Can I please go again? Does anybody feel black cloud approaching? What's yeah. the weather forecast? So, I guess it's welcome back. New York City didn't turn out exactly the way I had hoped. In 10th place, heard them first, Abby Lee Dance Company. Hey there. Chloe, congratulations. You were the winner. Our top junior soloist, Saint 91. You didn't only win for yourself, you won for the Abbey Dance Company. You won for me, for my name and my reputation, so that was good. Uh, Holly, you were quite upset with me. And I didn't see any tears from you, Abby, when my kid ran off the stage. It's horrific. I don't care. I know you don't care, and that's my point. Um, I think you assumed that I was upset because Maddie ran off the stage. And you're absolutely right. And that's why I left. After Maddie forgetting her dance, I was at my wit's end. As their coach, as their teacher, they all deserve a hug. Nia had you. She went to you when she forgot her dance. Why don't you be the adult and the leader and console them first? You Do yelled me. at Paige and told her she was stupid. And when Maddie does it, oh, you forgive her and it's OK. It's not her fault. Yeah, I think the case in point is, is we know that you don't care. Some kids are just special. I did not abandon the team. Nobody pays me to go to a competition. I am going there to be the dance teacher, not to sit in a room and babysit their children. Enough. My time is very valuable. I did not call you in here to discuss this. We're talking about this week. You are going to Next Star competition in LA, and those little kids in LA are good, and you all know that. And my trio is going to be Chloe, Brooke, Paige. And I need you to be on fire on that stage. That was pretty depressing down there. I was pretty irritated. She's a, I, she's a despicable person. We know exactly what happened, and she just changed the truth. Arms, Chloe. You know, I'm a little nervous about Chloe leading this team to victory. Next star is one tough competition. I just wish Maddie was ready to go and had her head back in the game. Every time something goes wrong, what, is she going to get up and leave? I don't think she would. But. I think that we need to make it known to her that, you know what, if you want to leave again, go, go ahead, ahead and leave. We don't fine. need you. How do you feel about it, Melissa? Well, she lied to me, so I was, I mean, I'm just upset because of that. She told me she was going home to her mom, so I called her a car. She told me the reason she left the team in New Jersey was because her mom is really ill, so I believed that she was going home to see her mom. So now the truth is out. Melissa knew that Abby was going to leave the competition. She even helped her. She called the cab. But did you say anything to her? Like, Abby, why did you do that to mm -hmm. me? You made me look like an idiot. Nope. Well, all I could think of is if Abby's supposed to be your friend, Melissa, that was not a very friendly thing to do. A friend doesn't do that to a friend. You, you should go all. in and say something because you're the one she lied to. It should be you because you're the one who she lied to. So it should be you. And you're the you one that called the cab for her having leave, the confrontation with her, not us. I feel that Christy and Kelly can care less if I was mistreated by Abby. They just want to cause trouble and drama. No problem. Good luck with all of that. All right, what can I help you all with? I'm getting so much slack from everybody that, you know, I always kiss your butt and everything. And They need to get over it. They've been jealous since Maddie from day one, and they still are. I think we just want to know that our kids have you to back them up. Right. We travel as a team, we go as a team, we leave as a team. Well, no. I'm not going to sit here and promise that forever, no. I, I think no. they're all good to go. I think you're all crazy. You don't pay for my trip. You don't pay my hotel bill. You don't pay my airfare. Those are just a bunch of excuses you made to cover your You head. can't be here. Dial 911. Yeah. Get her out. OK. Our conversation yesterday at the front desk kind of threw me for a loop. Melissa, I got to just put it out there. I <laughs> thought we were going downstairs 
if memory serves me correctly, that we were going to have your back and you were going to introduce the topic. I said to Abby that everybody's been on my case all the time. It's all about Maddie, 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 Maddie. The real reason she brought me into the bathroom, she told me I need to go home to my mother. And I believed her. It's but fine. you and sat she... up here and said that you were mad that she lied to you. So we said, go tell her that you're upset. We wanted you to say to her, why did, why you, did you lie, lie to me? You have to step up to the I know, plate. I know, and I that know. was a perfect opportunity for you to do it. And you threw us under the bus. It's so hard for me. It's I hard know. for all of us. I Melissa know. always says that we're so mean to her, that we never take her side. But she lied to us again. So how can I trust somebody who constantly lies? I'm a nervous wreck when it but comes to But you sat up here and said, but you're still not sticking up for yourself. And I know I never do. I'm a doormat. I Brooke, Chloe, and Paige are doing a trio, and it's called Girls in the House. I definitely think this is going to be a challenging trio because we have three girls that dance three different styles. OK, step out on your left foot and like take your arms and brush them back and stick your rear end out like this. Boom. Ba, ball, change. Five, six, ready right here. Five. Maddie, can you demonstrate for me? I'm a little confused why the swing, Maddie, is now demonstrating how the trio is properly done to the girls in the trio. Is that just another way for Abby to rub it in their face that she feels that Maddie's the best dancer in the group? Maddie, count Chloe's section and make sure you give me the right counts. Chloe has to realize, this is how hard I push Maddie. This is how I train girls to get to the top of that pyramid. Squat and touch the floor. Squat and touch the floor. Your feet should be together. Paige, you're too far away from the other two. Move over, Paige. I don't understand our choreography lately. Mm -mm. It just seems so stupid. It's not impressive. Walk. I mean, we do a lot of posing, a lot of walking around, and you know, like, where's the technique? Get that ready. I hate yeah. them. I do, too. They're going to break their knees. I'm a little bit nervous for the trio because this is my first time doing it with Brooke, and if I make a mistake, Abby will yell at me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Girls in the House. Trouble. Paige, do you know you forgot to step? You did? What happened? Mm. Well, don't laugh about it. It's not funny. You can't go out there and not do the choreography we're given. I don't think we're not going to win because she missed a kick. I think we're going to lose because the choreography wasn't like the ones at, like before us, just from what I saw. I saw two dances, and they were amazing. You saw a duet? Well, I didn't see what you saw. So I don't know. All right, well, that's it. Mother knows best. Final high scores. Top five, nine to 11 duet trios. Fourth place, entry number 161, love, love, love. Third place, it's going to go to entry number 162, girls in the house. 
Considering all the things that the trio had working against them, you know, bad costumes, bad choreography, bad music, I thought that Chloe, Brooke, and Paige really did well with what they had to work with. Girls, come on, I want to talk to you. Moms, I came, I flew 3,000 miles, did everything I was supposed to do for that. Really? You started out great. Your individual parts were wonderful. As soon as you had to dance together as a group, whew, to hell in a handbasket. OK, but why can't we? Look Chloe? at your daughter. She's 14 years old. She couldn't do the turns in second. Her knees bent. OK, She's so late. work on them with her. Come you, to class. you only give them practice with their turns. Give the other three She's who in are the in the group. She's in the same studio with the same teachers. Work on it with them. Get sick there. Work on it with them. OK, honey, right now, let's go. 32 fontes, go. Go. Well, obviously, she can't do 32 food. She can't do one! Girls, work on it with them. You're her teacher. Don't be so stupid all the time. I'm not stupid, Abby. Yes, you are. Don't you be a bad teacher. I put the dances in it. I did everything. Don't be stupid. 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 Don't be stupid.